What's up? It's Evan Miller and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be restringing my 2016 Gibson Hummingbird. It's been a while since uh, my beautiful honey burst, sun burst, whatever, lemon burst. I think it's lemon, honey, I don't know. It all sounds like it would go good in my tea. It's been a while since I've strung this baby up. And if you can hear it right now, it's out of tune. Sounds horrible. $3,000, $4,000 instrument. It sounds terrible. It just goes to show you, you gotta take care of your stuff. So today, I got the Diodario XT. This is a newer line of strings from Diodario. I've used these a couple times before. During the pandemic, I was, and I was just, because I had a lot of time to be changing them consistently, I was able to just use the regular phosphor bronze. These are a coated string. They are similar to the NYXL, which I run on all my electric guitars. So without further ado, I'll show you guys my um, setup process and my string changing process for my Gibson Hummingbird today. So you guys are seeing this as if you were watching over me. I think this is kind of a cool angle to see how this gets done. So this guitar is messy, it's dirty, needs to be oiled up, needs to be uh, shined up, cleaned up. Every guitar I own, I change the same way. Loosen the strings, and we cut away. That's the Gibson sound right there. Boom, we cut, 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 and then we'll do a, a double cut. Cool. I'm not gonna miss these strings. We got my, uh, bridge pin puller. I never realized this for the longest time, but actually right there, that will pull the pins out of your acoustic. I was like, no shit when I found that out. Look how convenient that is. Boom, 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 and so on. Hope we don't lose these. I'm gonna set them on the table next to me. So for those of you now scratching your heads wondering, what gauge I use on my acoustic, which uh, string gauge I use. I'm actually playing 12s now. I used to use 11s, and over time, it treated me really well, 11s did, but there came a point in time when uh, I couldn't deal with the, the flimsiness. I needed something a little bit thicker, a little bit fatter sounder. I'm just gonna toss these aside, we'll clean it up later. One of them went missing, then we'll take them out of the headstock. I'll check back in when, we, when I get past this annoying part. So now that I got all the strings off, the first thing I'm gonna do is use this uh, really nice Fender microfiber cloth and some Dunlop 65 uh, guitar polish cleaner. I've literally had this since I was 11 years old. That's nine years now. A little bit, it does go a long way. Just gentle and we're gonna polish. And you're gonna watch all those fingerprints and marks and other stuff just disappear. Look at that beautiful guitar. I mean, that's really all it takes on the front end. That's the side people see. Over here, definitely want to get it. There's a lot of, you know, this is where your arm rests when you're playing. I'm gonna actually just reapply a little bit more to the back and sides. Look at that beautiful back. Oh, my bridge just fell out. That's okay. And then do the neck without knocking the camera over. Cool. Okay. I hope you guys are enjoying this view of my red, white, and blue shorts. Now, I want to show you guys. Yesterday, Jacob and I, if you don't know who Jacob is, he was in episode 9 of uh, 9 and 10 of Retired at 20. We recently kind of got back into longboarding again. And you bet your ass, yours truly took his board way too fast on a hill and completely ate shit. It's very embarrassing. I'm glad I'm all right. All right, anyway, so I'm just applying the Dunlop uh, lemon-based oil. It is fretboard friendly, obviously. It's by uh, Jim Dunlop, rest in peace. Some of the finest guitar products were made by his company. You can just see this fretboard is getting really darkened up and it's gonna sound fantastic and keep my guitar healthy. I want this guitar to last my entire life. Pass it down generations of my family. 
like I mentioned in uh, my one of my oldest videos on this newer channel, this is the acoustic guitar that I recorded every six string acoustic guitar part on Siren's album with. Um, Swan Song, Promised Land, Standing Tall, all of them. So if you really like that sound, I recommend getting yourself your own Gibson Hummingbird. These guitars are fantastic. So that's pretty much it. That That's all I do for my basic monthly care of my guitars. Just good clean oil, polish up, shine up, and uh, restring. I'm hoping to get about a month out of these XT strings. We'll see. So you guys all probably know how to string up a guitar. If not, you uh, can stay and watch this next part. If you do know how to string a guitar, you can skip to the end to hear how these... Uh, these strings sound. I'll, I'll read the back of the package. So, you know, a, cu a couple of promo things. That, you know, it is USA made. Big thumbs up to that. Feel and tone that defy the test of time. I will say, Diodario is very good about defying the test of time. I've had some of their strings last way longer than any sh uh, string should. Uh, it says, the player circle, play more, do more, earn more, buy, collect, buy, connect, recycle. I always think uh, Diodario has really cool packaging, being that I sell a lot of their products at the store. So let's get stringing. All right, right away, that's a new thing. I have never had a Diodario package with a Ziploc. That's nice, now I don't have to rip it. So these strings are really fresh. So we'll go through stringing the first two and then we'll uh, either time lapse it or Whatever, so gold is E. Push the bridge pin in, secure it. We'll do E and A. And then down here. Feed it through couple inches of slack and crank away obviously it's much easier to do this at a workbench not free sitting on your lap but I really wanted to make this video beauty all right that's that's enough for the string winding. We'll uh, we'll we'll do a review of these strings once we're done. All right, got my guitar pick. Strings are stretched. My usual tradition is to always play an eagle song on my favorite acoustic. Sounds good. Let me know in the comments down below your favorite guitar strings to put on your acoustic guitar. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, click the bell icon to be notified every time I post a new video. And I appreciate all the support I've been given uh, this far. It's been a lot of fun and I uh, look forward to continuing making uh, more videos for you guys. It's been a lot of fun. Take care and I'll see you guys next weekend.